All right, we'll see if this works. I don't know. This is Kim Severson. I'm a food writer for the New York Times. The emphasis here is on writer. I'm not a trained chef. In fact, I'm just an enthusiastic home cook, an amateur, really. We'll see. I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to bake a 15-layer cake from a recipe I got from one of the great cake ladies of southeast Alabama. Her name is Martha Meadows, and she's 77 years old. She's one of several women I met on a recent trip down south who are practitioners of a dying art, baking old-fashioned southern cakes. I made a stop at the Sardis Methodist Church in Hartford, Alabama, where some of the area's best cake bakers gave me a serious cake education. I'm Joyce Floyd. I'm here at Sardis Methodist Church, and I'm holding a coconut cake. And I'm holding a lime cake. This is a coconut cake. Thin layer chocolate cake. Mrs. Martha Meadows, who's known for what she calls her little layer chocolate cake, invited me over for a hands-on lesson. This is Kim Severson. I'm the newspaper reporter. He was pushing on you. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. How did you, ma'am? I'm fine. Thank you. Thanks Good. for letting us in. It was a rare chance to spend time with a real expert. Can you double sift your flour? Yeah. Each Christmas, Mrs. Meadows makes about 10 cakes and gives them to her relatives, her church, or sells them for a little pocket money. She learned how to make the cakes from her mother, who baked the layers one at a time in a cast iron hoe cake pan in a wood-burning oven. Mrs. Meadows has modernized the process, and she knows this cake so well, I'd bet she could make it with her eyes closed. The show was over, Sadie. <laughs> but when I tried making it at home, I found that getting the icing the right consistency was really a challenge. So was making flat, even layers. And it turns out, so was the stacking. Getting a little uneven action. So my first cake didn't turn out so well. But it wasn't an epic fail. And the next time I ran through the recipe, it turned out much better. That's how it is with recipes. They take a little practice. But trust me when I tell you, it seemed so much easier when I was in Mrs. Meadows' kitchen.